Okay, super fast. Gonna go to gotta get this done. I am late, but I am very busy, and it's the year-end school trip walk hike thing with my son, so I'm gonna rush through this. I'll start out with, uh, let's get the gold. Not taking diamonds anymore. That way I can buy some of these things. Buying the rock crystals, that's my priority at the moment. Diamonds are less of an issue since endless reserves. Okay, so I wanted to show a couple operation attacks. I'm gonna show how Cool Hand Goose finished off Cooker. I don't know that I've seen him do the Cooker core hit before, so this may have been his first time. CHG, if that's the case, please let me know. Nice drop. Dropping the hero late. Now watch this Doom Cannon. This Doom Cannon wrecks him a little bit. That, by the way, using that Shock Mine is the harder way to do it. You have to time things very well. And he did a good job. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. And look at this. No troops left. No troops left. All barrage on the core. Artillery's taking it out. Bam. Just epic finish. That was fantastic. I'm gonna show you quickly. I will. I'm gonna show two more. I'm gonna. I'll do Doctor T first, though. If I have time, I will show more. Okay. Let's start out with brick. I don't have time for anything but brick today. We're just gonna go full frontal. The only way to do it on the weekend is full frontal. I, I take that as you may. I enjoy full frontal, depending on the yes, depending on the delivery. Okay. Let's go. Gotta get this done as fast as possible. There will be some mistakes, and I probably shouldn't have spent that gold to start with, but whatever, it is what it is. Let's go, GBE. Seeing how fast we can do this. I can do, usually do this. My fastest time on Tropical is two and a half minutes, but that is with Warriors, and I will definitely not get that on this account, because I don't think I can GBE the core on stage three. We'll find out in a second, though. I have beeps happening. Let's uh, retreat and I will turn on my, uh, there we go, do not disturb is on. Oh man, there we go, getting back into the game. Stage three, let's go, stage three. Here we go, let's get rid of the mines over here. Was it three and a half minutes or two and a half? I don't, I don't know. Whatever it was, it was fast. And I, I just feel like all of a sudden I feel like I, that, that time sounds wrong to me. So don't quote me on it. I got a screenshot on it somewhere. But it, where this is not a speed run. This is just me trying to get this down as fast as I can because I am in a hurry. Oops, meant to come over into here. Let's get battle orders. We'll flare the core. Shocking, shocking. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. So this, and by the way, this is part of this reason why this was late, because I had Operation Boost on. I really need to start hitting Operations earlier. Our Operations end right about the time Dr. T drops, which is really unfortunate, because I can't double dip or hit late. Uh, let's just get walking, and I'm not even going to look at where I'm going. I'm just going to get going. We're only on Stage 4, and Endless Reserves will fix any problems we have. I'm just going to walk up to here, standard walking area, standard walking area. And one of the beauty things about trees, if you didn't know this, is that if a tree is see-through, it has a mine behind it. If it's completely, you can't see anything behind it, if it's opaque, I think is the word I'm looking for, um, there are no mines behind it. So it's safe to assume that there are no mines hiding behind any of these trees. So you can use trees to your advantage a little bit for sure. No losses yet, I don't think. That's good, stage four. These animations, though, come on, man. Trying to do it fast, trying to do it fast. And yesterday, in my imitation game video, I mentioned that Gren Medic with Second Wind is fantastic, and Bull Cable just released a video saying, hey, look how amazing Second Wind is with Gren Medic. No idea if he watched. If he did, thank you for that video post. And if not, and if it's just a fluke, then... Kind of, kind of neat to see that someone else acknowledged it as well. Either way, not important. What's more important is that the community gets the information. Um, let's get a smoke into there and a smoke into there. Oh man. Should have smoked these earlier just to get the smokes gone. That's one of the tricks to doing a good speed run, by the way, is getting your... Uh-oh, this shock launcher is going to wreck me a little bit. Getting your smokes to clear 
nice and early so that your troops can start firing sooner. There we go. Lost a couple troops. Don't care. Trying to do it fast. Trying to do it fast. Let's go. Stage 5 down. Please stage six, five and 6 and 7 be easy. That would make my life so much easier. Come on. Stage 6. Let's reload troops first. Actually, that would make um, speedruns even better because in the past you have to click extra buttons to do a speedrun. So maybe new times are possible. Let's go. Get rid of mines. Let's get walking. Don't have a plan yet, but we'll figure that out as we get up there. Dr. T's are all pretty much the same. Don't really need to plan all that much most of the time. As long as your flare actually goes. There we go. Probably going to split that boom. That What's that thing called? A mortar? Okay, so one, two into the corner. <clears throat> what are we going to shock? Three shocks. Okay, lots of mortars nearby. That could be a problem. Not really sure this is the best plan, but whatever. Let's go. Get it down. Stage six. Going down in a hurry. There we go. Good, good, good. Probably not the best plan. I think, I'm not sure if I... Did I miss the flare, the flare, the shock on that flamethrower? I'm not sure. Regardless. Maybe not the best one to copy as far as strategy goes, but at least it's a baseline. That's all I'm aiming for here. I had a subscriber, Mr. Ickit, said, where is your video? I have nothing to do right now. So, Mr. Ickit, here you go. Here is the video. Um, a couple level 22 mines in there, that could be a problem. Just trying to rush this as much as I possibly can. Let's clear those mines, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna clear these mines. Not sure if they're gonna actually be a factor or not, but I just don't want to deal with them. So, hopefully I have enough GB. Not gonna do any test runs today, just doing it as fast as we possibly can. Already lost the delay. Losing the delay is one of my least favorite things to do. We're going to go right into there. There we go. <clears throat> we have three shocks yet again. One, two, three maybe. That mortar right there is going to wreck us. Both those mortars are... And there's a rocket launcher down at short, apparently. But it's still going to go down. Pretty good. Not bad, especially for being in a rush. So far, this video's been on recording since the very beginning for eight minutes. So, pretty fast. That includes showing the Operation Attack, too. So, let's see what the timer says. That was a total of about six minutes. Pretty good. Now, I'll show you a couple of other Operation Attacks. We started deep cut because we're down a couple people. Again, jump into small nine if you want a place to live. Um, I had Bud had a good hit on Commodore. I, I'm not. I don't have time for that one. I'll show you my hit on Hardcore. Trying to, trying to get the old fashioned. Does my timer go in here? Yes. There we go. Trying to do a double tap and a smoke didn't work out for me, but I think we'll get there now that we have this fancy trick that I showed you yesterday. Look at this, using the grappler, and then, come on, double, trying to do double tap and the re-smoke. I think it's going to be possible. I think it's possible. It will happen. Like, just double tap, and I was a little bit late on smokes. A little bit late on smokes. Actually, a lot bit late on smokes. But then, got those two rocket launchers down, and this is only a two, uh, three statue boost, by the way, so not a lot of good comes out of this, but still, I wasn't terribly unhappy with it and then we get a flash kill here I think yes and then running 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 and now the entire right side come on let's go one shock and the rocket launcher and the whole right side of hardcore has been opened up not bad for three statue boost pretty happy with that and then we've got come on I wanted to show where it was a Keone Keone doing a fantastic job on the shore of strategize. Watch this. He uses the fancy tap. Watch this. Gets up there, uses the tap and the mark and double tap. Down go the shock launchers. Doesn't quite get one of them, but he uses a GBE to finish it off. And then just grin, grin, grin. No need for medics here. Never, no need for medics on most times you use grins on an operation attack. 
Go, Kioni, go. Gets the shocks out to keep the sniper towers down and then just clears this whole left side. Opens it up big time. And watch what he uses. It does with all his extra GBE here in a second. This just shows how smart this dude is. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. That is what you want from someone who's doing an operation attack. It's coming, I promise. I'll show you in a sec here. Watch right below core there, all those mines. That's a little bit of a hint. See that? Clearing the mines with his extra GBE. He is just very, very smart. Great, great, op great opening attack from Keone. Not only does he free up these shield generators, gets rid of the shock launchers, clears the mines, very good, and, and that rocket launcher at shore. So, very good hit. But that's all I got for today. I gotta run. This is the shortest Dr. T video of all time, probably. Sorry if I sounds like I'm talking like I've been drinking 27 coffees today, but I gotta go. Thanks for coming in. Peace!